Hi, it's Tessa and I'm here today to do year-end favorites. Now this is everything that I've been loving for the entire 2013 year and um, I have a bunch of stuff. I was going to originally thinking about doing that best of 2013 tag but then I realized that I have so much stuff and I don't want to lump them all into one certain category so I just want to go with it. This may be a long video. I'm going to try to rush through it to get through it. Um, I'm just going to start grabbing things because I have a whole bunch of things to talk about. The first one is the Equate Makeup Remover Wipes. I love these wipes. Originally I was using the Neutrogena, but these are cheaper, you get more, and they're just as good. And the Neutrogena ones have been stinging my eyes, so I'm pretty sure that they've changed the formula or something. Or I just became sensitive to it, I don't know. The next one I have is the South of France Sweet Almond Soap. Um, as many of you know, I've been trying to switch to all um, more natural things in my skincare and in the shower so this is one of the things that I have started to use and I love this it smells so good and I get that from Vitacost next whoops oops oops everything's falling <laughs> excuse me all right next is the tree hut shea body butter and it's Brazilian nut I really love this body butter it smells so good and I'm already halfway through this pot mmm I love it I have really dry skin on my legs, and when I use this, they don't itch or anything. So that is a fabulous um, moisturizer. Then I have the Dickinson's Original Pore Perfecting Toner, and I use this on my face after I cleanse it in the morning and after I cleanse it at night. And I don't get breakouts like I used to, so love my Witch Hazel. I could never be without it again. Also, I like the Dove strength and shine extra hold hairspray this is it right here I'm almost through this bottle so I need to replace it but I just I'm going to look when I go back to the store because I really wish it was an aerosol and not a pump because I don't know it just seems like sometimes it gets too much on your hair but I love that hairspray the next thing I have which is filthy <laughs> is the Benjabelle Daisy brush tree and what you do with this and I have a dirty brush here man I'm dropping everything um, is you just put your makeup brush in, oh my goodness, nothing's going right for me today, <laughs> are you going to be kidding me, all right, oh, this folds to lay flat, so apparently it just wants to lay flat on its own, okay, let me try this again, you take your makeup brush and you push it through here, and it hangs so it dries and then whenever they're dry you just pull them out and your brushes definitely dry safer because there's no water getting into the ferrule which is this metal part and faster because they're hung upside down and air circulates all around them so I want to talk about this uh, this is the pointed kabuki and it is great for applying concealer under the eyes and around the nose and I love this brush that one is from Crown, but you can get them from Sigma as well. Then I have another brush in here somewhere. I might as well talk about it while I'm talking about brushes. This one is the Sigma Angled Kabuki, and it's the F84. And it looks like this. This is an excellent foundation brush. I highly recommend it. If you're not using one of these um, F series from Sigma, you should be, because they apply foundation better than anything else I've ever tried. Then, hands down favorite powder is the Cody Airspun Loose Powder, and my color is Translucent Extra Coverage. I used to have to order, order this on um, Walgreens.com, but now Walmart has it, so yay for that. And I think it's about $5, and it's huge, and it lasts a really long time. The next thing I have are these, um, I ordered these from Etsy, but any of these little hair ties, these little elastic ones, I love them. They are fabulous. For brows, I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon in Taupe. This is a new one. I'm using up my other one. And I, this is my favorite brow pencil. I love this. And look how long it is. It's really, really long, and I think it's like 99 cents. And you can get the one sale. Then for... BB cream. It's the Pond's Luminous Finish BB Cream. My color is light. I use this as a primer. Um, I have it on today underneath the Revlon Color Stay Foundation, which has been my favorite foundation this year. 
and my color in that is 200 nude or 220. I can get either one. These two together are awesome. And then when you add this with it, double awesome. My favorite bronzer is the NYC New York um, Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. And I'm almost hit pan on that. I don't know if you can see. There's a nice size dent in there. Love this bronzer, and I think it's around three or four dollars at Walmart. The other bronzer highlighter duo I love is the Lorac Tantalizer. I know it's an odd one to show. This is the highlighter in matte bronzer duo. I love this. This is just the travel size. Twelve dollars on Sephora. Can't beat it. Fabulous little duo. Then for blush, I have the CoverGirl Cheekers blush in Plumberry Glow. It looks like this. I have this on right now. It's a fabulous color. I don't know if you can see that. Sometimes blushes don't swatch really well. But it's there on my hand. Love that blush. Then the other blushes I love are for my sleek, um, Sweet Cheeks Candy Collection, and there's a cream, a uh, powder, and another powder. These are really, really good. Really, really pigmented. I mean, you have to really use a light hand with these. So those are awesome. And Sleek does now ship internationally, I th definitely to the United States. So you can get these at Sleek.com. Favorite nail polishes are... Etsy, did I say Etsy? Etsy Bikini So Teeny. It's just a blue with shimmer in it. Love this polish. The other one that I love is the Revlon Color Stay in Coastal Surf. It's another blue, and this number is a seven. I'm sorry, 170. And for a top coat, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat is great. Um, it does dry your polish instantly, however, underneath it is still tacky, so, like, soft. So it'll dry so you can do things, but you can't, like, open things or crawl into bed until they are completely dry. But it gives you a little bit of time to, you know, go about your business. Favorite eyeliners are, what do we got here? The Jordana 12-Hour Made to Last Liquid Eye Pencil, and this one is in Aqua Stone. Love this for my lower lash line. I mean, look at that color. It's gorgeous. Favorite eyeliner is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil, and this one is in Zero. It's just a baby one. Look at that. I want the Perversion. That is on my list. Um... <clears throat> favorite eyeshadow crayon or the Jordana 12 hour made to last crayons and this one is in continuous almond love this as an eyeshadow base and it looks like that it's just a nude color then I have what I'm wearing on my lips right now and this is the Neutrogena moisture smooth color stick and the color is rich raisin they look like this they twist up I love this color. Love the formula. I love how smooth it goes on. It's really, really pretty. I and mean, you can just slap this puppy on. No work to it. Really, really like these. Favorite concealers. I have the Jane Concealer in Light. This is an amazing concealer. I am so glad that I came across this. And the other one is the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Concealer. And this one is in Radiant, so this is more, this is definitely a concealer, and this is, an, is a brightener for your under eyes. Favorite cream for your eyes would have to be the Vintage Selection by MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. Love this. And it's just a really pretty look. I'm going to have to buy another one. It's just so pretty and sparkly. Let's see if I can swatch it for you. It's almost like a pinky taupe color. It's stunning. Love it. 
You could probably wear it by itself, although I have never tried. Um, favorite mascaras are the Revlon, or I'm sorry, not Revlon. I like trying to rush through this so it's not like a 20 minute video and I'm not doing a very good job. <laughs> the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara and the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is the one with the pink label. I have both of these mascaras on today. This little brush is awesome. It really, really adds length. And then I always go in with my clump crusher and get rid of any clumps and add a lot of volume. These mascaras are amazing. I am a mascara junkie. Love trying new mascaras. Um, another favorite eye brush, this is good for under the eyebrow and the inner corner. It's the Sigma Pencil E30 brush. And it looks like this. Love this little brush. It's so good just to get an inner corner and under your brow for your highlight. And then I have my last two things. We're near the end. Sorry, I was like, blah, 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 going crazy. But I wanted to get everything talked about and not make this video super, super long. This is the Stila In The Light palette. <clears throat> Another favorite um, eyeliner has to be the one that comes in this palette. The Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner. That one is right there. Really, really black. Really nice automatic pencil. And these shadows in this palette. I did a whole video on this palette, so if you want to see that, um, it's just a gorgeous nude palette. Love this little palette. And then the last thing I have to talk about is not only the Z palette itself, which is amazing magnetic palette, but what's inside? Everything in here I love. Um, these are my Makeup Geek shadows in the top. These two are my MAC shadows. And this is an Inglot blush. My hands down favorite from the Makeup Geek shadows I have is a Shimmer Shimmer, which is a gorgeous highlight. And if you haven't tried these shadows, I have a video on this. I mean, Look at the pigmentation on that. It's so pretty. It's right there. Gorgeous. My other favorite is Cosmopolitan, and it's this pinky peach color. Looks like this, almost like a copper. And it's right there. And the last one is a beautiful blending color called Frappe and it's just uh, running out of room. <laughs> it's right there. Um, and then my MAC one, it has to be Satin Taupe and here's a swatch of that. I'm sure everybody's seen Satin Taupe. It's just a beautiful taupe color and it is right there. Beautiful. All That Glitters is another one. It's a pinky champagne color. Where's my tissue? Wipe off my hands. Another beautiful gold pink shimmer color. And I'll swatch that for you. And it is right there if you can see that. I have so many swatches going on my hand now. And last, but certainly not least, is my Inglot blush that my friend Deanna sent me and this is in 58. Just this beautiful wine colored blush. And look at that pigmentation on that. Gorgeous. Love this blush. The Z palette is something that I recommend because you can't go wrong with the Z palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. So easy to store all your stuff, convenient. And um, I need more Makeup Geek shadows because I wanna fill this up with Makeup Geek. All right, that is everything for 2013. And the next video I'm going to put up is all about my no buy, low buy for 2014. 
So that would be next, but I wanted to get up all my favorites first because I have a feeling I'm going to be loving these even more in 2014 when I can't buy anything else. All right, thanks for watching, and have a fantastic holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. I celebrate Christmas, but whatever you celebrate is great. And then um, also, what was I going to say? Have a happy new year, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.